we will be presenting the biofix np osteotomy system from biotech so very briefly i will take you through the implant and the instrumentation system that we provide uh, for you to perform a high tibial osteotomy with accuracy and success so we have three different kinds of implants here so these are locking fixed angle stable implants this is the basic HTO or the high tibial osteotomy plate. There is another variation of this, which is here. I will explain to you, and a second variation, which is this. So the basic biofix NP plate. There are four screws, which go in the proximal segment of the osteotomy. We call them the A, B, C, and the D screws. For the distal end of the osteotomy, we have the one, two, three, and four numbered screw holes. So as you can see here. these are of course locking holes but this one the d hole is a variable angle locking hole similarly for the distal segment of the osteotomy the first or the most proximal hole which is hole number 1 is variable angle and then we have 2 3 and 4 which are fixed angle now the first variation of this plate is this one this is meant for a high tibial osteotomy which is performed along with an acl reconstruction so the variation lies in the b hole the b hole here is also a variable angle this is because in most cases of an acl with an hto reconstruction the b hole tends to coalesce with the tibial tunnel of the acl so providing a variable angle here is to help the surgeon prevent tunnel coalition of the b hole screw with the acl tunnel of the on the tibial side so we have a variable angle in the b hole a variable angle as with the basic osteotomy plate for the d hole and just like with the basic plate the osteotomy plate for hole number 1 on the distal segment as well now the second variation of the plate is this so here for the proximal end of the osteotomy there is only one fixed angle hole which is the b hole but the a hole the c hole and the d hole are variable angle now this osteotomy plate is meant for performing a high tibial osteotomy along with a medial meniscus posterior root repair because that's a very common indication where in malalignment presenting with a varus knee and a root tear has to be treated so for the right knee this hole comes posteriorly and there is chance of tunnel coalition happening with the trans tibial tunnel of the medial meniscus root hence this is provided as a variable angle hole for the left knee this hole which will come to lie posterior will have a tendency to coalesce with the medial meniscus trans tibial root hence this is provided as a variable angle and like with the basic osteotomy plate the d hole is variable angle and hole number 1 which is the most proximal hole on the distal segment is also variable angle so coming to why should we be providing these holes as variable angles in all these three systems that is because if the proximal segment of the tibia is small at times we find that the d hole screw trajectory tends to go very close to the osteotomy gap itself in a medial high tibial open wedge osteotomy so we can manipulate the trajectory of this screw so as to get good bone purchase without compromising the stability of the osteotomy by leaving this vacant similarly hole number 1 on the proximal segment can be utilized for inserting a lag screw to compress the hinge on the lateral side that screw can be removed and then can be uh, changed to a locking plate a locking screw in whichever angle as desired that is ensuring that there is enough distance from the osteotomy and the screw hole so this philosophy is true for all the three plate systems that we have here so along with this plate system there are two kinds of screws which will be provided to you in sterile packs the locking screw here so you see there is good pitch distance to allow good purchase in the bone this is a self tapping screw so we just need to drill it there is no tapping required and there are threads in the head to allow good locking of the screw with the plate 
the non locking screw is also self tapping so just has to be drilled the screw is inserted the head has been modified such that it will go in and fit into the plate completely flush the entire screw goes in there is nothing sitting proud on top and then with each plate we will also be providing these spacers so these spacers will be inserted in hole number 1 and hole number 4 so that once inserted hold on so these are the spacers which will be provided prefixed with the plate the sterile plate once the spacers are in it will not allow the plate to compress to the bone to the tibia leaving ample space in between for the pest to glide freely if at all the surgeon decides to not take off the pest during the high tibial osteotomy so this is the biofix np plate system the three plates for a high tibial osteotomy only for a high tibial osteotomy with an acl reconstruction and for a high tibial osteotomy with a medial meniscus posterior root repair this is the biofix np osteotomy plate instrumentation system so coming to what all is provided for the surgeon so first we have these stroker tip guide wires these are to help you place the guide wires at the angle and at the site of the osteotomy that you require so these will be provided as a non threaded stroker tip option in 1.8 mm or threaded option as well if you feel the bone is not strong enough in slightly porotic bones stroker tip threaded 1.0 mm wires so these are guide wires which can be used for guiding the osteotomy so once the guide wires are in place an osteotomy is performed with an oscillating saw thereafter we have these chisels in 10 mm 15 mm 20 mm and 25 mm so once you have performed the osteotomy to the desired length and made sure that the posterior cortex also is removed using the chisels we need to start opening the osteotomy so for opening the osteotomy we can either use the chisels the stag chisel technique itself or we have this wedge the osteotomy opening wedge so this wedge can then be inserted into the gap malleted in slowly and then we can use this key here and start opening up the osteotomy gradually under fluoroscopy control to whatever width as has been planned based on preoperative planning if you so desire to check the opening has been now corresponding with your preoperative planning we provide you with these rods which can be threaded into each other third one the not three joshi both side yes both side threaded so we have these three rods so they need to be threaded in so this is 1 meter in length totally which can be used to check the alignment from the hip to the knee to the ankle distally so once we are sure that we have achieved the correction we can keep the osteotomy open by placing this instrument this is the bone spreader which has serrations in front it is angled adequately so that when placed posteriorly on the tibial cortex and open slowly it provides you enough space for working in front so this comes with this ao type of ratchet attachment so you open it till as much as you want and then lock this here thereafter you can still continue opening it it will not spring back for removing this all you need to do is push this here and this thing comes out easily we need to be doubly sure that we have cleared the posterior cortex and protect the posterior cortex so once you have passed the guide wires decided the plane of the osteotomy this is a specially designed radio lucent retractor which needs to be placed on the posterior surface of the tibia the profile is such that it allows easy entry there is a wider aspect provided here which will protect your popliteal neurovascular bundles this so once this tip is almost at the lateral cortex of the tibia this distance has been adjusted such that it will protect the most vital structures at the back of the knee so the posterior muscle the gastroceleus is released off tibia 
and then this instrument can slowly be inserted so as to protect the back of the tibia while providing complete visualization of your osteotomy site since this is radio lucent it does not interfere with fluoroscopy at all so once the osteotomy has been performed the op desired opening has been achieved we can use the biofix implant it comes with four sleeves locking sleeves so as you see the angle of these sleeves is directed 15 degrees inferiorly so there is a very low chance that you might actually go on and perforate the articular surface of the medial or the lateral tibia if the height of the plate is adjusted properly and then we can have another locking sleeve which is placed here so what is recommended is you can place two sleeves in these two holes and then use these two as a driver to drive the plate inside the incision site now this profile for the plate here allows that to happen right it is beveled here so it will allow the plate to glide in freely just superficial to the periosteum we want this plate to lie over the periosteum so once the plate has been placed you can decide to fix the osteotomy in any sequence that you so desire these are the 4.3 mm drill bits that is provided for the locking screws and then we have the 3.2 mm drill bit for the non locking screw if you desire to put a non locking screw in hole number 1 here so this is hole number 1 if you decide to put a non locking screw to compress the hinge you will need to use the 3.2 mm drill bit so when you decide to compress the hinge you need to remove the spacer from here then we have this sleeve for the 3.2 mm screw which goes in and then this drill bit the 3.2 drill bit so these drill bits come with laser markings for you to know the depth you can read them off the drill bit directly during the drilling itself if you so desire when you need to insert a locking screw you can use the 4.3 mm drill bit so these 4.3 mm drill bits they come with laser markings they allow you to read the length of the screw directly while drilling itself our drill bit has just exited here touching the bone and this is a zero reading here and as we progress we can directly read the depth of the screw from the margin of the drill sleeve here if you also desire to drill the hole for the screw and not put the screw you can leave the drill bit in c2 or remove the sleeve and we put in the inner sleeve in the trajectory of the screw the screw itself so this is used to temporarily stabilize the plate while the rest of the osteotomy is being fixed by placing other screws so if you decide to check the trajectory of how your screw would be you can also insert the k wire in this screw hole so we have this inner sleeve this goes in and then you can drill the same 1.8 mm wire and check the trajectory if you desire to check the trajectory of your screw before drilling it with the drill bit itself now coming to the hinge compression screw if you decide to put a hinge compression screw in hole number 1 you can use the 3.2 mm drill sleeve insert it into hole number 1 direct it distally and posteriorly use the 3.2 mm drill bit to drill it in this direction like that this is also laser marked so you can read the length of the screw directly from the drill bit itself you can use the depth gauge go in measure it of the second cortex read the distance and then insert the screw once you have done that and you decide to remove the hinge compression screw and put in a normal locking screw you need to put in the larger 4.3 mm sleeve readjust the direction so it goes superiorly or inferiorly readjust the direction get better bone get newer bone different from the previous screw trajectory use the 4.3 mm drill bit to drill it here again once again you can read the length of the screw directly off from this and then use the screw driver to insert the screw so this is the so these are the star drive screw drivers so we have two types we have the torque limiting one 
for final insertion of the locking screws and we have the non-locking screwdriver with a star drive. For power insertion, the system also provides a screwdriver shaft with the same star drive configuration. This will allow you to insert the longer locking screws using power and without having to tire yourself. So the system also provides a depth, a gap measuring device which can be inserted into the osteotomy site itself. The gap can be read off directly here to measure the width of the osteotomy if you so desire. So that is the Biofix NP system from Biotech.